guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, this is officially part one of the Smart Repair Smart Repair Van Build. <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to do a video on the cleaning and the sorting out of the van. I was just going to include snippets, but I've recorded quite a lot of footage now. So part one is the clean up of the cheapest connect van that I could find in the UK. So we have converted an absolute dog of a van into something presentable and you'll see it unfold in the rest of this video. It's a hell of a lot of work. Um, and yeah, I think you'll agree that I've uh, polished a pig, I think is the correct terms. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. I'll uh, leave it at that and you can carry on watching the rest of the video. I didn't record um, a beginning to this video because I didn't think I was making this into a video. But this is now currently a video. So this is part one of the van build. Um, yeah, enjoy. See you in a bit. Stay this whole van is like that. That is not dirt. That is a clean van. And that's half the clay bar and the hell out of it. polished yet <laughs> that's why I'm not filming the whole process it is so long <sighs> seen about another five hours <clears throat> Looking better. Only three quarters of a van left to do. She's looking a little cleaner now. Definitely nicking some coating off her Dan. She polished up. Just prep wiped it. Ready to chuck some coating on. I think you can officially say I polished the turd. <laughs> it looks good in here. Right, we're ready to throw some ceramic on. So Dan is currently testing some Garage Therapy one year coatings. Uh, this was sent obviously to him to uh, test out. So we're gonna use this on my van. Um, it's just shown me an applicator. This is their five year certified only coating. This is unreal. I mean, that's pure soft. There's all different applicators you can use. We're just using these because I don't wanna cost him money. But uh, yeah, it is unreal. And apparently this is the dog's doodars. Uh, I'm not bothered about a year, five year, three year coating sort of thing. Uh, I wasn't going to coat it, I just wanted to clean the van and make it presentable. Uh, and as you can see, it's come up a tree. Um, ignore the polish marks where I've got to clean it up and that. 
I ain't detailing. <laughs> Just making the dead van look shiny. So, but uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna smash this on in a mo. Give that a try. But that is impressive, and apparently this is really good. So, yeah, I'll uh, try and capture a little bit. I'm not doing a dedicated film on this, uh, as I said before but there's too much to do and there'll be too many parts to this build series. So uh, yeah, I'll update you in a moment. It's impressive, isn't it, from old Jurassic Connect? <laughs> so, yeah. Let me just polish the ground into this bad boy. This looks a lot more user friendly than the five year ones I've used. What's the reasoning behind that? You're the uh, ceramic guru. Uh, solid content, basically. So the one year coatings are a lot more user friendly, you'll find that most brands offer higher durabilities. Yeah, yeah. They are certified only because of the solid content, they're harder to apply. So this one, when this gets released, I'm presuming is gonna be for- Consumer. Consumer, yeah. pay, you know, like yeah, retail. Um, prime example, to coat this land with this coating, 45 minutes. If yeah. I was doing it with a certified five year, Yeah, yeah. about three hours, Yeah. if not more. Um, God, God yeah, if you don't level it correctly and stuff. I've noticed this is a hell of a lot more user friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, you can put this on a panel, leave it for five, ten minutes. It's not really going to have any impact. No. You do that a five year, you're wet <laughs> Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah, the solid content is what produces. But it's what you pay for, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, and this is ideal for your DIYers at home and what have you. This is. I mean, even Such though, a simple application, this one. Yeah, oh yeah, it's so simple. One cloth pretty much levels and puffs it off. Um, but it's such a, like you could use this even on a car that's not been like machine polished. Yeah, yeah. So like you can apply it for say like a winter prep. Right. Which will give you Oh, what, you go over, if you haven't cut it and refined it, it still go over. You can still do it, so if you chemical decon the car, so yeah. clay, oh not clay, but tar and fall yeah, yeah. you could, Apply on one year, yeah. Probably going to get six to eight months durability from it. Yeah, yeah. Which your winter protection is perfect. Perfect, yeah. But because I it. because I've prepped this properly, I clay barred the hell out. We've deconned it, clay barred it. I've yeah. machine polished it, I've cut it, refined it, wash it properly. This I should... mean, all brands will underestimate their coating durability. Cool. So technically, Naturally, it's over a year's worth. On you this might one. see yeah. eighteen months out of it. Yeah, um, you don't know until you get on with it, and and I presume from the price point of a five year, yeah. if we were, you know, if you used to charge a customer for this, obviously I've done this, but for you to charge a customer for this level of service, yeah, this would be a cheaper package than a five year. Yeah, much yeah. cheaper package. You've got your time, your application. Yeah, you don't need too many towels. The coating is significantly cheaper. Cheaper. I mean, um, listen, as you know, to get a white looking shiny. Is. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it's crazy. It, it does look good. Yeah, um, it looks great. This is an old beaten up transit connect that's been around the world a bazillion times. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> been and to the moon and back with the miles. The good thing with like a 12 month or even a three year ceramic is most people only keep the car for three years now. Yeah. Um, they keep them during warranty periods. And also, as my personal opinion, others will say otherwise to this. After a year or three years, you're going to have been down a country lane, you might have some bush marks down the course, side. Of course, yeah, you're going to want to be cleaning it up. You're going to have yeah. to yeah, do something. I mean, there's brands out there, and look, I'm not going to mention names, I'm not slagging anyone off, they're all doing their own thing, that will do 10 year coatings. Yeah. To me, pointless. Pointless, yeah, yeah. Um, five year for durability, their coatings are phenomenal. Five we've, years. We've put them on loads of our cars, yeah. yeah. 
five year I say, and even then after three years, I've still polished them on my cars again. Yeah. Because of just because of what we do, yeah. You're gonna get some wash marring, you're gonna get swirl in it, you're gonna get yeah. somebody's gonna tip it in the car park. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's always gonna be something somewhere. I mean this amazing really and that's literally as simple i mean you've seen it that's yeah as simple as it is to apply yeah i mean don't get me wrong it was a lot of hard work polishing the van clay bar mm. and every inch that's why you do it <laughs> yeah but <laughs> it's life but the the reasoning behind this was i just wanted the flat van looking shiny again yeah. this is a cheap option for me to get out of work and look presentable but that stuff is pretty it's pretty good pretty and decent say, i mean we've done the full van we've only used yeah. half one i'm not being no 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 like, that's, that's what i mean we are putting decent amount on decent amount on so um, we're, i mean we're not i'm not plugging this product because it's not even available to the no, public yet no, this is, <laughs> this is secret in, squirrel <laughs> we're still in development for this yeah. um i mean i've got it on my van i've got three different variations of yeah. box to test no. sort of thing. So. No, no, it's impressive. It is. And it is such a simple application. And this is all new to me. I learned and used five year. If you didn't level it, you're knackered and all of that lot. Do you know what I mean? So this, yeah. seeing this technology is Ceramics well different. A, a long, long way. way. Yeah. yeah. Um, the gloss and slickness on a lot of them now is yeah. just phenomenal. It's the cleaning uh, properties within also yeah. make a massive difference. Mm, this is pucker. Right, I'm going to uh, let you crack on. I'll stop filming you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely a bit of a difference. A lot of hard work, don't get me wrong. But um, you don't look like a pig anymore. <laughs> I, I wasn't even expecting it to look this good, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, I've spent a lot of time, a lot of hours clay barring and polishing this. But, uh, it definitely looks good. I'll get my dent man around this, tidy things up. We've still got a lot of work in progress. Lots to do. But it's definitely presentable now. Massive thanks to Dan. Reflex automotive detailing. Yeah. Right. A few hours have passed. We dragged it outside in a natural light. And I mean, going from what I picked up and what I bought, how bad the paint was. I mean, this looks very presentable now. That was the goal. It was literally flat all over. So much contamination. The whole van, I had to clay bar every millimetre of this van. It was just caked in it. Uh, don't get me wrong, we've got dents to sort out. We've got wing mirrors to change, hubcaps to swap and the all sorts. But I need a cleanish, presentable vehicle to use. And uh, it certainly is that now. I'm actually well chuffed. I wasn't going to wasn't planning on making the cleaning part into a whole video but i've got so much footage now that this is gonna be step one episode one of the smart repair van build cleaning it making it look presentable uh everything will move along quite quickly after this because I've got a brand new set of upcaps going on, new wing mirror, I've got a reversing camera to fit, dash cam to fit, then hopefully by this time Simon will be ready to do the woodwork and as soon as the woodwork's done we can start throwing all the gear in. I didn't want to make a 10 part series of a van build but this is uh, the important step is making it look presentable. And I believe we've achieved that today, or the last few days. It took me a few days to polish this up. Guys, um, yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, as always, a massive thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.